Hey guys, so I get asked all the time how I do my hair, specifically when I have my hair curled, and today I'm going to do a tutorial for you on how I curl my hair, and I will also put my extensions in at the end as well. So before I even blow dried my hair, I put in this L'Oreal Paris blow dry quick dry primer spray and it's heat protection so I don't have to spray anything else in before I curl my hair. I really love this stuff, it smells so good. I'm also gonna put in this Amara Kesh oil, that's how you pronounce it. It's argon and hemp oil therapy and I love what it does to my baby hairs, like it just helps calm them because they're crazy and frizzy. I'm just gonna use a little bit and mostly just gonna focus on like the um, bottom of my hair. And then I always hit the top of my head because that's where I have all the crazy baby hairs sticking up. So this helps just smooth everything. So a few months ago, I bought this Lange curling wand. Um, so I just saw like a sale on Instagram and I'm like, hey, this is really cute and I really need a new curling wand. So I promise this isn't sponsored or anything. I didn't even get this product for free, but I really like this curling wand and obviously I love the pink too, it's so cute. But yeah, it curls my hair like really well and, and like I barely have to put any hairspray on it. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna start this hair tutorial for you, show you how I curl my hair. So. Oh my gosh, I say so way too much. I always start with the front left side of my head. Uh, there's really no reason why. I just always start with the face framing pieces. And I always curl away from the face, but I'll start really high for the face framing pieces. So you can see like, I barely hold it there. Oh my gosh, you guys see? <coughs> oh excuse me so you can see I like barely held it there and it made a really nice curl so I'm just gonna keep doing this I go a little bit lower now so my my hair oh my gosh I think I gotta sneeze again okay no I don't all right so my hair because it's growing back um, since I've had crazy postpartum hair loss with my babies. Um, it's finally growing back, so the top half of my head is like really thick now, and then the bottom half is super thin. You can see like I'm barely hanging onto any hair at the end right here. So when I do curl my hair, I slowly like twirl down because I only have to leave the hair at the bottom on the curling wand for like literally a second and then it's already curled. actually looking into I'm recording this on my phone and I'm looking into the screen of my phone right now and it's kind of tricky to do it <laughs> without looking into the mirror actually yesterday I you know how I told you guys I filmed a tutorial for you well it was a complete hot mess it was so bad like I ended up burning myself I also ended up turning my wand off like halfway through the tutorial. It started like right here, I turned it off and I curled all the way back here and I'm like, oh, it's kind of like really loose back here. It's not really working very well. And then I go to do this face frame framing piece right here and like it's barely curled. I'm like, oh my gosh. I turned it off and then I looked back at the, at the video later and I saw that I like clicked it off accidentally in the beginning. So, not only that, but I burned myself shortly after that, and it was, it was, it was a hot mess. And then I showed my husband, I'm like, babe, should I try working with this, like, with this video? Like, can I save this video? And I showed him, showed him a couple of clips, and he's like, babe, you gotta do this over again. I'm like, oh, that's what I thought. And then, like, he's also like, my voice tends to get like really high when I go on camera for some reason. And he's like, babe, why is your voice so high? He's like, you gotta redo this. I'm like, okay, so this is how I actually talk. I think I'm talking in my normal voice right now. But does anybody else do that? Like, does your voice get like really high when you go on camera? I'm usually like, hi guys, welcome to my tutorial. 
but that's like not my real voice. I think this is my real voice. I'm trying to talk my real voice right now. I also noticed that I talk way too much while I'm curling my hair and I can't do that, like, that speedy fast motion thing to like get through my hair tutorials. So I gotta like stop talking right now. So yeah, I literally like just do the bottom half of my hair. I don't even curl the top, so it's pretty quick. Like it takes 10 minutes if I'm, not, if I'm not recording. Holy crap, I'm sweating. It is so hot. I have the AC cranked, but it's still really hot up here. All right, I know I missed a couple pieces back here. I'm really hoping I don't burn myself again. That hurts so bad. All right guys, so this is what it looks like when I don't have my extensions in. So I'm gonna put them in. I'm gonna spray it really quick first. I just use the Pantene air spray. Air spray, I just always use this and it holds very well. Don't need much because these curls hold very well too when I use this wand. Just a little bit. Just puff up my hair a little bit. Oh my gosh. I am sweating so much. I wonder if you guys can see this. Alright, so another funny thing. Like, I never wash my hair two days in a row. Like, literally haven't done it since 2012 probably but i had to wash my hair again because i wanted you guys to see what it looked like like after blow dried my hair and my hair was like straight i didn't want to do like a hair curling tutorial when my hair was already like kind of wavy already so i did wash my hair twice for you guys and that hasn't happened in years it was like so weird so now i'm gonna put in my extensions i wear luminous hair extensions if you guys don't know already um and i only wear half the box which is really nice because half of my box is like curled hair and the other half is straight hair so I like don't have to keep restyling my extensions so I use I use the three clip weft at the bottom of my head so I just take my fingers and just part my hair And just about as low as you can get. I'm gonna just start clipping. So you can like tease your hair and spray it um, before you put the extensions in. Like at the roots, you would tease it and spray it, um, and that'll help like secure your extension and maybe not like pull on your hair so much. Um, but I never do it just because I wear my extensions so often. And they're they're just fine like they hold up just fine they never fall out so now I'm gonna do the four clip weft and this one goes like pretty much right in the middle of the back of my head so I'm again I'm just gonna part my hair and I start that one like right above my ears and because this is the four clip weft like it pretty much clips like on the back of your ear right here So you can already tell it's starting to get thicker and then I have two two clip wefts um, that I'm gonna do right above the four clip Alright, now I have two one clip wefts that I'm going to put on the sides of my head right above my ears. Alright, 
So there you have it. This is what it looks like when I have my extensions put in. So I probably could um, touch up my extensions, but I'm not going to just because I can't see very well in the screen of my phone. Well, I hope you guys like this tutorial. I tried to make it quick. I'm sorry if it ends up being long. So if you like this video, leave me a like, um, comment if you'd like to see more videos, any other kind of tutorials or whatever. I hope this was helpful. I will leave um, links in the description box for all the products I used. And yeah, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye.